Howdy, so we're gonna run through Hypercube. Uh, to be perfectly honest, there's a few things I screwed up here. You can see my email address in there, whatever, it's my junk email, knock yourself out. Um, other than that, I think I clicked on a couple things, but I don't use documentation. I basically vet these systems on if I can use it without having to read through stuff and having to have training on it. I think that they have a little bit more use. Um, you'll also see other systems that I've got deployed on these VMs. You'll see uh, uh, Threat Locker, you're gonna see Remediant, you'll see Aracom. Um, there's a few things that just went back and forth, but hey, it's all in good fun. Anyway, I think this is a great system. I think it's super useful for those of us that are trying to work with sales forces, trying to get SEs to do work with it, a sort of standard approach. Um, I know for a fact that if you leverage these types of systems, POCs get done quicker, better, faster. Uh, and anyway, hope you enjoy it. Howdy folks, welcome back for another demo. This is uh, Chase Cunningham, AKA Dr. Zero Trust. Uh, this is a technology that I've been playing with for, for a while now. Um, I think that this has a lot of value and applicability for a couple reasons in the space. Um, not specific solely to zero trust either. But if you kind of think about a lot of what we do in the vendor world, and I'm, I'm worth a vendor now, uh, is you've got to work with sales folks, you've got to work with SEs, you've got to do POCs and get stuff in front of customers. And it can be kind of difficult to do that at speed and at scale. You spend a lot of time setting infrastructure up, trying to get people to access things, make it where they can use it, uh, just becomes a bit of a uh, back and forth. And, and that slows down the sales cycle, which slows down taking in money, which slows down stuff and makes everybody unhappy. So uh, if we have an ability to do this at speed and at scale very easy, and you can make it where anybody can leverage this type of capability, that's a very good place to be. And I'm gonna run you through some of that. So what we're looking at here is the Hypercube system. Um, basically, this is a really, really cool way for anybody to build infrastructure, share it, uh, and then be able to, to use it and collaborate on that infrastructure for whatever purposes uh, you want. I used to um, lug Pelican boxes all over the United States teaching people how to do red teaming stuff. I wish to hell that we would have had a system like this back then because it would have made life easier. Matter of fact, the first time the Hypercube folks ever showed this to me, I was like, oh my God, I wish I'd have had that when I was at Fort Meade for uh, training purposes. But um, so we're going to run through a few. I've created an infrastructure here. I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll show you how to share it and how to publish it and why there's uh, use there. So here's the infrastructure that we've built. Um, I just call it demo. You know, you can see here, edit the design, share the design, publish the design or trash it. Um, when I edit it, it's going to take me in and here we are. There's my machines, you know, Windows 10 connected to the LAN goes to a firewall. Um, if I want to add more machines, you know, it's pretty easy to add more stuff. If I go in here and say, uh, let's go ahead and add, uh, I don't want to add another firewall. I want to deploy Kali because I'm going to do some Kali hacking. Um, you know, and here's my username and password because this is just a test system. So let's just deploy it. You know, here it is deployed. Got your nice little logo. Um, and because this is off, I can do other things with it like connect it up to a, a switch. So I just want to connect it up to that switch. Done. This is pretty cool because I, you know, I'm, I don't have to do any network stuff. I don't have to rewire things. I'm not going into the terminal and doing stuff on the switch, whatever. If I'm not somebody that even knows how to do networking, I can click and drag and I can click and drop. Very, very simple. Same sorts of things. You know, you can change uh, configurations if I want to edit stuff. You know, I could go in here and say, oh, here's the user Hypercube 1. Uh, this is my Wi-Fi hacker hacking uh, template, you know, and save that, all right? And then it's saved. And then on my infrastructure piece as well, you know, um, edit description. Uh, uh, oh, and make sure you uh, use the updated version of the... Cali instance, right? And I'll show you in a second where this shares across everything, you know, and there's, there's that. Uh, when I turn this all on, kind of nice to be able to just say, turn it all on, turns on all my machines at once. You know, you can see there's my Windows, my Ubuntu machines, etc. cetera. Um, I can add in more interfaces. If I want to add a new network, I can just add it a new network, um, you know, hacker land, whatever, and deploy it. And here comes my new network, if you will, my new switch so that I can 
you know, connect things up if I wanted to set all that stuff up and have it go from another. But again, I'm not doing anything here really. I'm just clicking and, and configuring. And again, because everything's off now, right? I want to wire this thing up to my hacker land. There we go. Wired up to my hacker land. My bad. I forgot to stop it first because obviously you don't want to be running things up while you're doing connections. But uh, let's turn these machines back on again. You know, so you can see here in what, 60 seconds, I've added some switches, I've connected stuff, deployed a new machine template. Um, if I want to go look at my actual machine, like let's go look at this one. I think I have Threat Locker and Remediant and a couple of other solutions running on here. Um, you know, here's my Windows box. I mean, there's my Windows machine. You know, you can deploy stuff on it, do what you want all day long. Um, the easy way. You know, let's just go, oh, I don't know. Oh, actually, I've got Ericom on this one, so I may not, yeah. But anyway, uh, let's fire up another box. Let's go do this one. And that's the beauty of these types of systems. It's pretty iterative doesn't require me to do much. There's my Google Chrome. Uh, there's Remedian, because like I say, I'm messing with a whole bunch of different systems for demos in here. There's my demo account of Remedian. Oh, there's my Threat Locker stuff. You know, <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty easy to see what I've got going on here. Um, I do all my demos through this, but that's what the point is. If you were to be using this for, uh, you know, selling stuff for working with other folks for whatever, it makes life really, really simple for you. Um, you can see I can change the resolution. I can upload this to my own VM app stuff. Or over here, you know, I can see what's available to me. I can change some of the sort of layout. Um, maybe not necessarily super useful, but kind of neat for demonstration purposes. Um, lock it where it needs to go and then stop all of it because I don't want it burning electrons for the sake of burning electrons. Now, if you go back to the home page, you know, that's the one I was working on, right? Was demo. Let's say I wanted to share demo. If I hit share, it's going to share it and then I can share it with whoever I want. Now I can share it with my buddy Craig or, you know, it's share with me right now, but I could add as many as I want, etc. Now this one I've shared so far and you can see when they go in there and look at this, there's all my stuff that I just did. So, you know, the description's updated. Tell them I forgot to remove Threat Locker from the VM because I'm a dummy. And then make sure you, you know, use the updated Kali instance. And then here, when I go look at this, you know, there it is. Same stuff I had in the other. This is my Wi-Fi hacking template. So it's all updated and whatever. Um, and you can go off and add things essentially in real time. You know, if I was going to add another machine, I can add another instance, another Ubuntu machine, etc. And it continues to show up and I'm just building stuff on the fly. Um, and it, again, it's not requiring me to do a whole lot as far as hardcore back-end infrastructure, VM cobbling together, da 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 Now, if I publish it, publishing a design creates an independent copy. So it's a copy that's not shared between us. It's just a copy. Um, the copy can't be edited. So like I said, it's just deployed. I can deploy it to other users. So let's say that I built this demo instance and I've had, I don't know, Threadlocker and Remediant and something in there that I was using for the purposes of demonstrating. I publish that copy with that stuff running into it, and then I can let people check that copy out so that they can do whatever they want with it, right? Um, publishing design can take a while. If you've got 100 machines, obviously it's processor intensive. It's going to take some horsepower to get that, so pretty, slim, pretty slick. But I published demo earlier, and now let's say that I was the sales engineer that wanted to go off with the, the build that had Threat Locker, Remediant, and Ericom, or whatever else all in it. There it is, you know, tells them exactly what it is. Now, this is because I published this earlier. It doesn't have the add in over here of the little snippet I made or the other Cali machine, but that's it. The, it's there. That's all they can do with it. They can see, you know, what's going on or whatever. Um, and then they can go off and, and, and run around with it. But it's published. They can't screw it up. They can't mess with it. You can see here's my shared designs. There's my published design. Um, they can check that thing out, you know, deploy it, turn it on, do what they need to do. Um, it can be removed or whatever. 
Now on the manage installation side, it's users. You know, if I want to add a user, so let's create a user. Uh, I don't know, Doug the sales rep. Um, Right. Oh, well, I tried the wrong password anyway. We'll just do it the lazy guy's way. Anyway, I could add Doug. Change the passwords, typical things that you would have there. Um, manage machine templates, do whatever you need to do, update, add stuff. It tells you how to manage write tables dynamically from master V images, V app, how to, how to add it, um, how to do best practices. You know, if it's copied to an, if it's tied to a network, then it's going to be tied to a network when you copy it. Uh, and then, you know, got to click on the update button. So if you want to do something different, uh, you have to update that, you know, do not power on until it's connected to a switch. So that's my internet gateway. Uh, those types of things you can see there's a whole bunch of them here, but you can imagine I only have 10 because this is all I typically use and yeah Because I'm doing research whatever and demos I don't feel like looking for the username and password or whatever I just have the username and password readily available But you could have as many as you possibly want if you've got a hundred different templates then have a hundred different templates You know there's your environments if you want to get rid of one Let's say I did all my stuff for the demo stuff and I want to go off and rebuild a new one I don't really like it. I think that it was a bunch of junk uh, and I need to fix it so that we can make it better for uh, people on the far end. I mean, it's just that simple. Are you sure you want to delete this published design, this process number? I'm not going to because I'm actually still messing with it, but there it is. Pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. I think that this is a great system for doing the things that we need to do, especially if you're gonna be doing like malware research, if you're gonna do product demos, you're gonna do POCs, you wanna do architecture design those types of things i mean where else would you be able to go in and go oh, i think that this is no longer needed you know let's just remove it um oh and i don't need this anymore because i'm not connected to it go in and remove it oh well wait a minute i need to turn all these things on because i need to go off and you know connect up to new uh ubuntu machines to new lands whatever and do this lickety split no problem i i think that the entirety of some of the infrastructures that i've built on this and have been using have taken me maybe 30 minutes um, and the fact that you can share the design is probably one of the the coolest features of this um, being able to check out a design you know if i want to go in there and say oh let's let's check one out um, i haven't made it available you know deploy it make it where they can get it but you can share that um, if you want to create one from scratch you know new stuff there it is right there and again in you know I don't know what are we looking at a few minutes here you know uh, if I want to deploy all these let's just say I know that I'm gonna be doing this type of research uh, you know deploy 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 close um, you know, there's your gateway uh, just for the sake of messing around right let's just connect that bad boy Oh, I didn't add a switch. My bad. I mean, there you go. Like I'm up and running. I mean, there you go in less than 60 seconds. Cali machine, Ubuntu machine, firewall, gateway, all up. Yeah, there'd be some configuration stuff to do on the far end, um, but I could add whatever else I needed here. You know, if I wanted to add in some more templates, I could go get those other templates, whatever. Um, if it's junk and I don't want to do it anymore, I just stop it, go back here to my home screen, and go, you know what, I'm really not happy with this. I was screwing up and not doing it correctly. Let's just delete it. Be done.
Um, so anyway, sort of short wrap up, short run through, uh, super simple way to use stuff for the purposes of building infrastructure and sharing it with people. Um, you can publish designs where they can't go off and mess up what you've built. You can put all your notes in there. You can share infrastructure in real time so that you can collaborate on stuff. Maybe you're doing malware research or uh, you're trying to figure out how to get at bad guys or, or those types of things, or you're just doing POC environments and you want to make sure that you have the same standard template for everybody else. Maybe you're building infrastructure and you want to make sure that we're all building off of the same sort of uh, pipeline. This is it. Um, you don't have to be a power user. You don't have to know how to do networking. You don't have to know how to do configuration. You can fire this up, use it, share it, run through all kinds of cool stuff. Um, personally, I think this is one of the most innovative systems that we've, we've seen in a long time. Uh, and this is one where if you've ever slept Pelican cases across airports to do training for people on VMware, you can see the value really, really quickly. Thank <laughs> you.